All right, it's that time. I've been playing AC for about a year again on Levistress, and we are about to do Enlightenment number five. Got everything ready to do the low level quests. Um, so as soon as I hit this, I'm gonna try to re-put on this whole suit that I'm wearing. It's a major suit, no level requirement. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to try this and uh, see what happens. Level one. Hundred and forty three percent burden. It's actually not that bad. Okay, where are we going first? We're going to Boltberg. So the first level one dungeon is now it's up here somewhere. Holtberg readout. I haven't even tried to put on my gear yet, um, or like made a build. Wow. I had this whole plan in my head and then all of a sudden you're level one and you don't know what to do. I have 107 health still, that's pretty good. Um, Okay, so I need arcane lore is 111. So I'm gonna pop this lore rare. That gets me to 361. That's probably enough to use most of the gear. Okay, so the shoes. Use the trinket. I use the helm. No girth. Shirt, pants. sleeve so these are all what is this melee d melee d melee d melee d all right so this one is not the cave of albury so there's eight items in here no that's something else worser's missing items there are how many items in here one two three four five six yeah there's eight items got it right I just evade him, so I don't even need to worry about the suit for this. There's the candlestick. I really should have looked at the maps for this. Forehand. I've run this quest like a bunch of times, I just don't remember exactly where everything is. So my goal is to run all of the level 1 to 20 restricted quests before hitting level 20, obviously. So we'll see. We'll see how we do. Where are all these items? There's two. go through here. That's three. One in chest somewhere. That's four. Across the bridge. Five. in this chest, six. One here, seven. Where's the last one? There we go. 
antique goblet. So that should be eight items. All right, we're gonna pop a Holtberg portal gem. So that's that one. Now we're gonna go to the cave of Olibri. All right, so this one we need to grab Brogard's axe and letter to Rindia. Has it been three minutes? I can probably pop this Vader's crystal. Nice. We got the full suit on, including the cloak. Even at level one, yeah, I'm not so bad. Like, I have, like, decent health and stuff. Okay, so in... Yeah, they say that this is a good spot to do blood shreds, and that makes sense to me. Down. Nothing in here. Tiger Eye. We don't need that. Uh, I opened the map so that I don't mess this up. I think it's in here. Letter to Rindia. And then the axe is going to be further in. Axe is like all the way down here, I think. So as far as I know, the only thing that's restricted is getting into the dungeon. Brogard's axe. All right, that's that one. Get to. I don't want to kill anything, because then I'll get XP. <laughs> Alright, that's a good spot. So we'll close that one. Let's go to Lytlethorpe. We'll do Lelts Laura's pretty shirt. This is the longest I've been level 1 with a character probably ever. Oh, I gotta change my title. Cosmic Conscious, set as display title. And you get this cool Enlightenment 5. Total experience is 57. That's pretty good. All right, so this is like the West Lytlethorpe Outpost. This is like a really old starter quest. I'm only trying to do the starter quests that are top end restricted which is usually level 20. I was trying to time this right so I didn't like randomly get some experience pass up that uh, ruined my whole plans. All right, ruined cave outpost. So this one's a little bit of a maze. My melee day is probably really good. What's my melee day? I think that rare still popped. 382. These uh, gnar shreths are not gonna hit me. make sure that's the only thing I need. Bring the shirt back for the rewards. Awesome. That's that one. Now we can go to the next spot, which we'll do Shoshi. There's two here, if I remember correctly. There's four stones of Joji and Nenai's pet drudge. So let's do four stones of Joji first. So for that one, we need to head over to the Shreth Hive. Here's the Shreth Hive. There's a 
really tough looking Narashra there. There's four stones in four different chests throughout this dungeon. There's a pit, but I don't think the pit takes you anywhere, so we're going to ignore that. We're going to go around. Oh, maybe the pit does take you somewhere. Well, we're going to ignore the pit anyway, because we do need to go this way. We get the Stone of Compassion. Stone of Compassion. Nice. Okay, so from here, maybe we'll jump back down. I think I have enough health to... Didn't even take any of that. Well, I have a level 8 protection zone, so... Alright, I was wrong. We need to go into the pit. We need to go into the pit, and then we need to go down... ...into here. And then we're going to make, I think, our right. There's the Stone of Humility. Then I'm going to go straight. Let's go straight. We'll go back. We'll go back. It's actually a really cool dungeon for a low-level spot. It's not in any of the chests. So some of these old dungeons are like super complicated. Stone of Discipline. That's three. And I think the last one, I'm just going to keep heading this way. The center of the room. Haha. -ha. secret spot that I missed. This one's in one of the chests. There we go. Stone of Detachment. Alright, so that's all four stones, so let's go back. Shaoshi. Shushi. Nen Eyes Pet Drudge. Two click run. I've gotten 103 experience so far. There's an NPC Drudge here. If I ever did any of these quests, it's been a really long time. Drudge doesn't interact with you, that's sad. Alright, so then we just go into the stone. Cathedral. And locate the Greenmire Cheese and Greenmire Cider. I might turn this one in because I don't necessarily want to run all the way back here. So there's actually, there is one down here. And there is one up there. Let's grab this one first. That looks like the cheese. Greenmire cheese. Might have to kill a guy. So far I'm still a pacifist. Which is good because if I kill one I'll level. I mean, not that it matters if I level, but we want to be level one as long as we possibly can, right? So the last time this character is gonna be level one.
Greenmeyer Cider. Nice. Okay, I take it back. There's no convenient surface portal, but let's just hit the next town, which we could do Yark. I do need to get lockpick, so don't let me use all my skill credits. All right, so I already talked to the NPC here, so we just need to go to Sea Temple Catacombs, which we could take the Red Rattler shortcut. This is Lubzikon Al Luke's Stolen Goods. Again, there is eight items that need to get picked up in this one. I don't actually, I don't know this dungeon that well either. Um, let's try this way. Perfect Cove Apple. That's one. Just a regular apple, probably not. There's a baking pan, that's two. Um, let's go this way. Door. Aged Cove Apple Cider. That's three. Better move it before I get stuck. This is the way we came from. Already got the bacon pan. Need to go this way. I assume there's one in here. Yeah, hot apple pie. I don't know how it's still warm, but. It is hot cove apple cider, hard cove apple cider. Nice. That's still only five. Here's six cove apple wine. Seven. Hopefully there's another one in here. Be in the chest. Perfectly aged cider. Awesome. That's all eight. Alright, where to next? Let's go to Nanto. There's another two in Nanto. We've got Magical Lights and Miyako's Moonstone. So, Magical Lights is in the Light Away dungeon. Four click run. Oh, we leveled up. Level two. Somebody must have logged in because now I'm getting some pass up. So this is the race that I was talking about where I've only got so much time. I think level 20 is like 1 million total experience. So it's really not that much. I'm just going to train lockpick now so I don't forget about it. All right. Here is Light Away. So this one I do know, you just have to go to the end and there's like a... Uh, there's a book. And there's an optional where you can pick up broken tapers. Which they reward pyrules, but that's not actually part of the quest. Maybe I'll pick one up just in case. Just in case it counts as a quest flag. Who knows? Like that. Broken taper. We're gonna make a right. And then in this thing, there should be the book. And it 
another broken taper. I guess I'll pick it up over here. All right, and then we're gonna pop a second Nanto gem. And we're gonna do Miyako's Moonstone. So we need to go to the Mysterious Tunnels, which are right here. Uh-oh, level three. I guess we'll go this way. I think this is the right way. There should be like a chest. Oh no, level four. Reflections of a portal. Okay, we gotta move. We gotta go to the old dry well in Samsur. Um, we need to run to Sequat, which is at these coordinates. It's okay, we've got a little bit of a cushion and we're doing good. We've got this one. We did magical lights. We need to do rusted knife, so that's one, two, and then throng this hovel. So we're 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 making good time. Level five. Okay, so Quat's in this tent. We have to talk to them, and you should get a key. Then we gotta run straight southeast. Whoa, level six, and we didn't even get the. We didn't even get a light show. All right, I've actually I don't think I've ever done this one. Uh, so you're supposed to go down, down, and then we want number two, which is left. I think we're safe on the leveling. It seems to have slowed down. Someone was doing something, I'm not sure. The lever. I don't know if you need the lever. You just need this lock. Water, chest, flask of well water, I think is what we need. The wiki says, do not be fooled by the water in front of the well. What you need is the flask of well water. Okay, that's that one. So now rusted knife is in Alarcus. Okay, from here we need to go to the West El Arcus Outpost. Shopkeeper or Urbara. Urbara. Talk to me. There we go. This is weird. They were like emoting a lot. El Arcus Outpost. Or or starter board has been ruined. I think I was playing when all those outposts were destroyed. I mean, like in retail. Oh no, L7. That time I definitely got the colors. Guess I can get, can get creature and mana see. Losing the 12 credits. How much is void? 16. If I can get void at 11. If I wanted to. I think you still get, uh... I think you still get one credit per level. This is a tiny little dungeon. Cool. Some drudges. Some bridges. Door. ways to go. We need to go this way. Rat. Rusted knife. Okay, I think that's it. So that's that one. That's Old Dry Well. So we need to go to Sanamar. There's no Sanamar portal gems. Travesty. So we need to talk to the portal guardian. Strongest hovel locations. There's one, two, there's like four hovels right here. So we'll go, this one's the closest. Humid hovel. Okay, so drop. 
there's two things in each dungeon, so I need to go like all the way left and then backtrack and go, or maybe hit the surface. Might be the fastest. Stolen ring. Well, let's just hit the surface. I think we have to because we jumped down. So we went left, now we'll go right. It's at the end. I knew it was at the end. Damn it. I misread their map. Now I'm level 8. I think it's right here. Stolen brew kettle. Perfect. Surface portal right behind me. A sultry hovel. Alright, this one's the same thing. We're gonna go in. Two separate items. Everyone was mean to people who started in Sanamar. This is much more annoying than some of the other starter quests. Could be a chest in here. Oh, they're old chests. Stolen Ewer. We're now level 9. We haven't killed a single monster. There's all these surface portals, though. And the next one is the Moist Hovel. What a bad name. The shopkeeper out here. What? frying pan. Stolen by some mushroom people. Whatever throngs are. Giant mushrooms. There's also like books in here you can pick up. If you want. To learn more about said giant mushrooms. Yes, that's six, so two more. A steaming hovel. What names? Steaming, humid, sultry, and moist. Awful, awful names. <laughs> Level 10. This is the last hovel, so you can jump down these pits. Should take me here. Yep, and there should be maybe one in this room, I think. Old chest. We want to go to the pit that we jumped in, then left. Yeah, I missed that when I jumped down. Yeah, there's two ways to go there. And 
the last old chest we need. Stolen necklace. That's it. That's all of them. So a little bonus quest here. We're in Zarabidin. We're in the underground portion, and we're going to do the Gem of Impulse quest. Uh, hopefully. You have to have lockpick for this one, so that's why I needed to make sure that I got lockpick. This one is restricted to level 1 through 25, so not quite as bad. As the 1 through 20s. Alright, so here's where my lockpick skill needs to shine. You failed to pick the lock. What's my lockpick? 135. You've successfully picked the lock. Nice. Pick the lock door. And then we're looking for an uninhabited area portal. It should be around here somewhere. There we go, I see it. snippet. We're looking for a might squire. Oh, there's a princess. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill some, kill a guy. There's the squire. And we leveled. We leveled off killing the might squire. That's okay. Alright, we got a guard post key. And kill the warrior princess for some discuses. This door cannot be activated from here, so I think we have to go back. There's the fire thing. If we go this way, no, we need to go straight. This way. This is the key. This is the door we got the key for. This is the door we're going to pick. Right? And then... Forgotten text we're going to grab. And there should be a lever in here. Now we're going to go back the way we came. should be open. Yeah, enter the lightless tunnels. From the drop. We're gonna go left. Oh, there's some jellies. Oh, we're level 12. Okay, so we actually need to go not... Yeah, we need to go this way. And then there should be a laughing too much. Oh, this is the wrong way. The 13. No, that we're good because this is the last one that's level restricted. 14. Someone's really pushing me up. I've only killed one monster. Crystal, no jewel. So also a fun fact about this quest is there is a Direlands Midland portal that you can only get in this dungeon. So if you go back up 
here and then um, down this ramp in the center. You'll get to this pit and there's a portal for the uh, mid Direlands, which I believe this is the only place where you can find that portal. I don't know why it's in a level 25 restricted dungeon, but here we go. We did it. We did all of the quests that we wanted to do. We're gonna go start handing stuff in. Back in Holper, we got all these items. Candlestick. I actually earned that level. Directions to the Cave of Alibri. Antique mug, antique goblet. Do they also take this? Take this to Finrala. It's Finrala. And Brogard's Axe. 15k experience. All right. Greenmire Cheese. 10,000 experience. Greenmire Cider. 10,000 experience. 93.75k experience. Broken Tapers. How many Pyrils? 25. Totally worth it. 4,000 experience, 200 fire reels, and two healing potions. Broken reward. Here's Miyako, Reflections of a Portal. 2,000 experience, and an armor self floor gem. Alright, this guy gets like eight things. Two, three, four, five. Give me a list. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, look, belts, belt Slora's pretty shirt. 2,000 experience. That was totally worth the run. We're at Samsur Outpost. Uh, flask of well water to Sequat. 5,000 experience. 200 pyrals. Man, some of these towns just got screwed. With their rewards, I'm telling you. Okay, so Nurbaha gets Rusted Knife. 3,000 experience and a hasty note. Alright, we got Portal Guardian gets 8 items. I think you get like a ring for each one of these. Oh, 12,000 experience. Wow. Okay, so before when I said that people who start in Sanamar get screwed, I lie. They get great starting quests. Well, are all these rings the same? Why do you get eight, why do you get eight rings? I guess you only have to do one of these. This is just like kind of hilarious that now I have eight of the same ring. All right, the last turn in in Zarabian. I mean, I'm pretty happy that we got all this done. Oh, nice. So this person is actually outside the underground, so we get to just run to this tent, hand over the crystal new jewel. Ah, precious thing indeed. Gives you gem of impulse. Increases maximum mana by 100 points. Awesome. I actually have some mana. But awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty happy that I was able to get all of that done. You know, we got my fifth enlightenment. We did all of the starter quests that we wanted to do. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing some more low-level content since I Enlightened. I'm not going to rush through it. I'm going to try to do like Garon Citadel, uh, get that quest done. I haven't done a video on that yet. And the big ones are they put in recently in the emulator, the Rushk aspect of Grail Quest and the Shadow aspect of Grail Quest. So I want to get both those in. They both give titles. It's going to be my last chance to try to get them. So pretty excited about both of those. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.